I'm feeling bitter, but I don't know what I'm bitter by. On the 24th of June, I set out on a 6,000 mile journey to set a new Guinness World Record for visiting the most festivals in 30 days. What started out as a conversation in the pub at Christmas time was either going to be the best thing I'd ever done or a complete nightmare. But from Glastonbury, I embarked on a trip to 26 festivals in 13 countries, all by motorbike. It was an eventful journey. I dropped the bike, had a few close calls on the roads, was pulled over by police in the Czech Republic, and I even managed to leave my clothes, well, everything I wasn't wearing, in Slovakia. I ended up in storm drains on bridges that were only half finished and going on 30 mile detours to find a route across rivers. But the festivals themselves were the real adventure. How's it all going so far? It's cool, I think, you know. It was, well, you've seen us quite a few times, so. Yeah? Yeah. Where were you at Werkte? Werkte? Yeah, Werkte. Is that, yeah. Where was that? In, um, uh, Belgium. Belgium. Yeah. So that was difficult, you know. That was, that was difficult. We'd just come from Roskilde, and that was really difficult. Um, we had really kind of mad technical problems of hearing each other and stuff, and we launched straight from rehearsal straight into playing live. So, um, but now I think we've got it now. It's mm. starting to happen now. It's yeah, always yeah. the way it is, you know. And then if you tour for six months, you get into this other thing, which is not so good. I think it's a bit sort of good, you know, by then. The, bu the bubble. Well, yeah, and you think you've got this edge at the moment. We're right on the cusp of. Cocking it, cocking it up, and you know, there's an energy to it. It's good, yeah. Some of the musical highlights included Queens of the Stone Age at the Mighty Rock Werkter in Belgium, who stormed the site with the greatest hit set, Elbert Rockerfield in Luxembourg, which is a small site with a stellar lineup, Moby at Pahoda in Slovakia was solid, Manu Chow at Malta Festival in Poland had 10,000 people going mental from the off. And the National, who are caught at both Gert and the Paleo festivals in Switzerland, were just phenomenal. What do you think it is about festivals that keeps sort of so many hundreds of thousands of people coming out, uh, you know, going outdoors every summer? What I love about them is being like being able to see so many different random bands and artists, I mean, especially like, just looking at this lineup. There is. There's such a randomness to it, and I love that. You know, like I played one festival years ago, and I think the lineup was Neil Young, Pantera, Bjork, <laughs> me, and Don McLean. <laughs> something that like this is the most, but somehow, somehow it works. You, know, you go to a festival and like suddenly Jay Z fans are listening to Neil Young. <laughs> Neil Young fans. <laughs> One thing that I soon figured out was that regardless of whether you're into rock or hip hop, whether you fancy dress or just fancy a boozy weekend, it's the audience to make a festival. And across Europe there's this amazing appetite for good times in the sun. Well, often in the sun or in something resembling the Somme. I'm here with uh, Marion Goodell from Burning Man. Uh, at, we're at uh, Pahoda in Slovakia. Yep. So, uh, Marion, what brings you? What brings you here? Uh, a curiosity about uh, what happens in Slovakia at the largest music festival and, and how it rates compared to what we're doing with Burning Man. What is it about festivals that keep people coming back every year? You, you know, uh, we need them. You know, we need the connectivity. Uh, we don't have the town squares like we used to, you know, uh, even when I was a kid, uh, the center of uh, my small town, there was a square and in the evening they'd play music and, you know, we'd go into town from where we lived in the country six miles out on a Saturday night and listen to the local band mm -hmm. and we'd walk around the square and we'd say hi to each other it, through my teenage years. And uh, the world doesn't have that. Not just camping and going to listen to music, but walking out and having a new experience and sharing it with your friends and your neighbors, respecting each other. We need more of that. We've got to have more festivals. I'm game. <laughs> <laughs> Before I left, someone asked me why I was doing this. I guess it's about getting out and seeing these different sites and other cultures. But I was also trying to figure out what it is about festivals that makes them more popular than ever. Sure, it's often the big headline names on the tickets, but I think it's more as well. It's about community, about hanging out with people like us. And the more digitized our lives become, the more we need them. 
There are some amazing events out there and it's not just Glastonbury that has something for everyone. Check out Bohoda in Slovakia, Rock for People in Czech Republic or the better known Exit in Serbia. If you're more about BPM than BRMC then head to Garden Festival in Croatia or Balaton Sound in Hungary. But most of all, if you don't already, get out to a field near you and see what all the fuss is about.